Hi, I'm Chris from Air Windows, and here I am back again with another console. As you remember, a console does this. Start with this. That lovely, rich warmth. Well, what if you had, say, Purist Drive, also built into console, both the channels and the bus. If you remember when Pyrrhus Drive came out, I was talking about how it has a special way of uh, reading slew rate and adapting stuff to this. Well, rather than tell you, why don't I just show you? This is console five. <laughs> And this is Purist Drive Console. And then I'll turn it on partway through. Well, I don't know if there's anything more to be said, really. I can, though. You might want to use Purist uh, PD console. God, what do I even call this? PD channel, PD bus. You might want to use it if you're looking for a tone that's sort of more rounded and uh, with a certain kind of warmth to it. There is a type of roll-off that happens, and there's also a type of saturation that happens in Purist Drive that brings stuff up a little bit more forwards. Gets a, a little dense, and the texture of things is a little bit richer. And I'll just, I'll, I'll go back and forth again. I'll show you first console five. <laughs> It's sort of smoothed off. The texture is a little bit different. Whereas, and of course, when I switch it off, it's like, uh, what happened? Whereas the texture of the final shipped version of console five. There's a sort of big spatiality to it. It's a little bit bigger. It's a little bit wider, wilder but it's also a little bit less full, a little bit less rich. There's a kind of sparseness in there. And uh, also, you have the drive control from Purist Drive. So if you want, you can turn that off for a channel and it'll still work as a console channel. And same is true for the bus. So what we do is, if we're running this like this, and go, well, hang on. Have to enable it first. If it seems to have maybe a little bit too much richness and fullness and thickness to it, you can dial it down with this. It shouldn't take much. And you go from here to... Just position it where you want. So that is, again, I don't know if I, there's that much that I can say about it. It's a combination of console five without the DC problems and purest drive. So yeah, <laughs> hope, hope you like it. I bet some of you will. It's, I think, maybe a little polite. Some of the sounds that I might want to get would be a little deeper, wilder, less predictable. But on the other hand, if you're going for a like console emulation type thing where you just want everything to have a nice coat of paint, and this is a very effective way of getting that. 
It all just kind of sits and melds and glues together in the way that Purist Drive does. And then you also get a double dose of it. You get one on each of the channels and then you get one on the bus. There's Purist Drive for you. It's audio unit, Mac, Windows, and Linux VST. And it is free because it's supported by Patreon. And it's open source. By the time you see it, it'll be out as open source. Hope you like it.